Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday and Merry Christmas. I can't believe that Christmas is, well actually <laughs> it's Christmas Eve tomorrow and that's kind of like Christmas to me because that's when we go over to my parents house and then on Christmas morning everyone comes over here. <laughs> we have the Thanksgiving, we have our routine. I'm sure all of you do. And um, so I was so thankful that I did that video yesterday so today's won't be so long. I know all of you are busy and again today, Brooke and I are going to have Girls' Day out. We've got some last-minute things to do, you know, pick up some food things that I'm going to make. And um, it's just good, you know, to have time, not be rushed and everything. So today I'm going to show you several good things. Um, I'm going to start off with a gift that I got yesterday. And I've gotten so many Christmas cards and... I just really appreciate it. I really do. Because sometimes this YouTube thing is a little tough. And, you know, tough as you can get, it, some stuff still hurts your feelings. And it just, you know, warms my heart when I know that some of you, gosh, some of you have been with me th this whole time. And I love that you know me. <laughs> and that makes me feel good. I really appreciate it. And one of those subscribers is Davida. And she sent me a package, and I had just gone to the post office yesterday. I hadn't been going as much because it's just been crazy. To even check my P.O. box has been crazy because that parking lot is so small. And people are just, you know, they'll pull up right there at the curb and then dart out in front of you. It's just, so I try not to even go in there unless I have to. But Davida sent me a package of goodies that is, I was telling Brooke, because, you know, Brooke loves when I open packages. I said, this package is so thoughtful you can tell that she has been with me since the beginning I'm gonna tear up and so much thought was put into every single thing and I didn't bring every single thing up here because I didn't want it to be too long but I just grabbed a few things that I thought you would understand like for instance this NYX eyeshadow which is a beautiful NYX shadows are really nice a beautiful like iridescent um, green the name of it is mermaid Mermaid, um, Mermaid Siren, and it is beautiful. Here, let me, I'm going to swatch it just because, look at that. I mean, every bit as good as, it is just beautiful. It's not, if it, it's kind of like iridescent, you know, like a fish scale or something. It's gorgeous. It would look so good on the lid with just a, a typical more subdued matte brown in your crease or I mean just don't put it on the whole lid just put it on the that first little section of your moving lid it would be so pretty so that was one of them I must cover girl lash flash she sent us two of these I say us because Brooke was there they're opening it with me but look have you ever seen a little baby lash blast I have worn lash blast since before YouTube it's still one of my I always no matter what mascara I'm into at the moment I will always have a lash blast it's just a go-to and a lot of times on like weekdays I know that I can get a good thick bold lash with this and it's gonna come off real easy and I know I just I know it you know what I mean it's like I know it's not gonna hurt my lashes I know it doesn't transfer I know it's gonna come off easy and um, but I just love this little baby tube it's precious and I like you know i like test tubes of mascara i think i like getting up close with the wand I, that's the only thing i can figure out and then this you know when i pulled it out it's a maybelline lipstick and when i pulled it out i thought here i'll open it i thought oh that's so pretty looked at the name and it's disco pink do you guys remember when i discovered this and i was all about some disco pink and i got my mom one i got my sister-in-law one i was getting everybody this color and we all loved it. And I don't even know if they still make it. Anyway, it's not cooperating. But it is a beautiful shimmery pink color. A little bit more color than I have on today. Um, but just gorgeous. It has the best little sheen to it. And then, we could not believe when I opened this. She sent me a pair of sunglasses. True to my heart. And they're Coach. And I love them. Brooke and I both love them. They're just so classic, and I love that you can see, I love glasses that you can see through, like that, where you can see someone's eyes. I just think that's so, I don't know, it's neat. I just love them. Very, very 
classic Hollywood classic sunglasses. So, Davida, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just, the the love was felt in that package. And um, so many of you, I've really appreciated your thoughts. Okay, and then this is something I got on hmm, one day this week. I think it was Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, but it was from Tarte, and you know, they always have like a little theme to their package, and this one is, don't forget your bestie this holiday season, and um, it's the limited edition Gallery Gals Deluxe Tartist Eyeliner Set, and limited edition Tartist Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in Bestie, and we've already, so neat, they have this little tool where it opens up just like a, you know, paint can or something, so cute, and it has a... Um, and I have one of these from another set that I use all the time. It's like a mint green one. But anyway, you know what it is. I might even like this with this short little handle like that. But it's the Bent Liner Brush. And then this is the black. And then the other day, I experimented with this, which is the bronze. Excuse me, my nose was itching. And um, really, really pretty. For those of you that don't like a dark liner Matter of fact, it was yesterday. I think yesterday because Brooke did my eyeliner. We used this first and then we ended up going over it because she likes, when she was doing my liner, she likes to use a pen, like the marker pen type liner. So we ended up getting the Stila dark brown and that's what I had on. But we started off with this and it was beautiful. Just wasn't as dark. And then this, that is a good color. It is the Tardis, it's Bestie. And let me swatch it for you. It's a beautiful color. A really, really good nude. And if you wanted any more, like what I might do is put it with Ideal or something with a little bit more pink in it. But just a gorgeous color. A wonderful nude. Really pretty. It dries really pretty too. So thank you so much to Tarte for that. They have spoiled me lately. And um, yesterday, I'll go ahead and show you what Brooke and I got when we were out. We went, we got my um, niece some cute stuff. We got her this little Nautica dress with a fur collar. It is so cute. And we got her some little Toms that are, um, they're kind, they're not iridescent, but they're kind of like a sparkly macrame looking little Toms. And um, got her some more stuff and got Will a few things and um, we went to the Dior counter because I was looking through that same L magazine and one of the pictures in the back the model let me go get it real quick because I want to show you something I loved okay here it is it was this whole little set of pictures here those boots I love those boots so much I love you know I love boots anyway and I love cowboy boots and they are the perfect kind that go up tall and fit slim to your legs. And they're old gringo, which you can buy old gringo boots on Zappos, but they didn't have these because these are crystal embroidered leather boots. And they're 990, which is a lot of money, but you know, it's right in line with designer boots and everything, but I could not find them anywhere, but I just love them. And um, they had a lot of, there's a lot of cool boots on, in that brand um and then where was it oh yeah beauty secret high gloss dior dior attic ultra gloss in cosmic keeps an evening look young and fresh so i had written that down that there I always have a pile of stuff when i'm through i had written that down and we went to the Dior counter and um, looked at it and at first I said oh no that's just too bright you know I thought it was too bright for me but we put it on and it was so pretty I ended up really loving it and it's supposed to have like lip plumpers and everything in it too it I liked it better than the typical let me put a little bit on just to show you oh that's so pretty I liked it better than their typical gloss, just their regular lip glosses. Some of those, and it's probably the ones with sparkles and stuff, but some of those can almost feel gritty on your teeth. And I just thought about this. Um, I did put a new Invisalign tray in night before last. So whenever I just put them in, they affect the way I talk more because they're not, um, my teeth aren't fitted in them correctly yet. 
and they're sore. <laughs> but anyway, that is the color and it is really pretty. I really, really enjoyed wearing it yesterday after I got it and I was glad I got it. It wasn't too bright at all. And it's one of those that kind of smooths your lips over, just really good. We went to Belk. I wanted to check, they had some different sales going on, so I wanted to check there. Um, and I ended up, Brooke had read that um, one of the girls that she follows, I don't know if it was Kylie Jenner or someone else that she follows on Instagram, I think it was, uses the Kiehl's um, Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. And I used to use this years ago I think it was right when I first started YouTube, I was using this because they sold it where I, no, they had a, there was a makeup store that I used to go to that they sold Kiehl's. And um, so when Brooke mentioned it, I said, yeah, let's try that again because she does all her skincare in my bathroom anyway. So I, I said, well, let's get the small one and we can try it. And if we like it, I'll get us either both one or a bigger one. And we both loved it. Last night, I ended up just using what was on the lid, but it was so creamy made my under eyes feel so good they weren't um you know oily feeling this morning they weren't oily feeling last night sometimes when i put eye creams on it's like it's almost like it won't sink in it's just sitting on my eyes too rich that's what i would have to say too rich i don't like them when they're way 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 too rich but love that and i know that this is one of their best sellers i can remember back when i used it it being real popular i think i read about it in a magazine or something so the avocado cream and no one was at the Kiehl's counter when we were there to pay for it so we ended up walking through and I saw one of my buddies Vernon at the Bobby Brown counter and he used to be at the Estee Lauder counter at Dillard's and I've always just kind of connected with him he's really sweet he kind of gets me and knows things that I like so um, we were sitting there talking to him and I said, well, what's new? You know, what's something good um, that, you know, I can get and oh, did I bring it up here? Do, yeah. I said, what's a good, you know, nude lipstick? I said, kind of a peachy, brownie, you know, kind of nude like that. And he, uh, and I told him that this is my favorite Bobby Brown formula. So we ended up picking this one. It's almost bare and it's number three. And I had it on, I'll tell you, I had it on earlier, but I'll tell you in a little bit why I took it off. But it's just a really pretty, and it's very um, peachy, like, um, I don't want to say orangey, but it's like that cool rust, not even rusty. What am I trying to say? Um, I don't know how to say it because it's not coral. It's just a peachy nude. Just really pretty, and these are so creamy. And I think that's going to look good with so many different lip liners and looks it's just a good everyday lipstick so I wanted to try that and then um I asked him I said well what's something that I would like you know that I said would go with my look you know and he said well he said sometimes when I like when I do a nude lip and a wing liner he said I like to use something different and the first thing he showed me was the ivy shimmer ink and um, Brooke was like yeah you know we both liked it and we were going to get it and he said oh wait a minute he said let me show you these that just came in and they are some bobby brown long wear liquid liners and they he tested every color for us and the one we chose is I'm sure the names on here forest sparkle they are so pretty so that's what i've got on today it's actually a dark green oh, i love everything about this i love the length of the handle i love the length of the wand. I love the way it's, I don't know if you can see, I'll try to put it against my skin, how it's real beveled and um, you can get real tiny. I mean, it's just beautiful. And it's very, very liquidy at first, but it dries to waterproof and it dries quick. I didn't um, transfer up on my crease or anything. I didn't even really have to worry about it, so I don't think it's too liquidy. But I think I did wipe it off more than I did just then. And then I think they had a blue one, kind of a, um, I don't know if they even had a black one. They were all like, you know, dark colors. But that's just, I love it. I think it's just, it just gives me something else a little different. So I was really excited about that. We both love that. And then 
I was looking at all the different shadows and I was like, I've got that one, I've got that one, all the ones I was attracted to. He said, the one I like to use on a lot of people for a crease color is, and I know some people say cement, but I always say cement, but um, it's cement 29. And what really, you know, made me want to get it, he, he said, it's a great crease color. He said, when you want a crease color, but you don't want it to be the focal point, and I've got it on today, nothing, no other shadow, just my Urban Decay, Minor Sin, and this, no base shadow or anything. And when I really decided I was going to get it, as he said, it's a great brow color too. And when I looked at it, I was like, that is a good brow color. So that's what I've got um, on my brows too. I just filled them in with the regular brow brush. I can't even remember. I think it was a Laura Mercier one and love it. So I think everyone would love this. It's kind of a cool tone, just taupey, browny color. It really just, I bet you could use it for contour, even on your cheeks if you wanted to. It's just that good color. And I love it. I don't regret getting that a bit. And let's see, you guys know what I got when I went to Ulta. Um, and my giveaway this week, I didn't didn't say this yesterday. I don't know why. I guess I thought I should wait till Friday. But I bought an extra one of those um, It Cosmetics No More Pores Pressed Powder. I've really enjoyed it so far. And so right when I got it, I got two of them. So that's what I'm going to give away this week. All you have to do is put a comment down below and be a subscriber. And it doesn't have to be a compliment. You can just put Merry Christmas to all, or you can put your favorite powder or something. It doesn't have to be a compliment. And the winner for last week, let me see, I wrote it down right here. It was a simple one. Sue W. So Sue W is the winner of the Estee Lauder lip conditioner for last week. So I have that little giveaway going on. And I think I'm gonna do two winners this time. Should I do two winners or should I come back? Let's do two winners. Okay, and then got a package from Merle Norman this week. And they said, hi Lisa, I wanted to thank you so much for your continued support throughout the year. From all of us at you know, the Merle Norman team, we have, we hope you have a happy holiday. Da, 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 da. Look forward to working with you in 2017. Um, Let's see, see enclosed, customized Merle Norman holiday party makeup kit to add glitz and glam to your holiday party looks. Specially selected for you. You'll also find an extra set included. We thought it would be cute to do for a giveaway idea. Um, hope you and one of your lucky viewers enjoy. So, one of these is for you and one's for me. And let's, so here it is. You open it up and you get a mascara, which is the Fat Lashes Mascara. You get one of their lip glosses in siren and then you get one of their liquid shimmers which this is really nice it's a good highlight and then a brush kit it is the makeup perfecting brush set comes with one two three four five so i will just you don't have to leave a separate comment or anything i will pick one winner for the powder and one winner for the merle norman kit so thank you to them for doing that i love it when they give me things to give away and um, I think that'll be a good I can't wait to use my brushes I wanted to keep them clean until I showed you guys and then last week I told you I ordered the Charlotte Tilbury light wonder foundation what made me order this is when I went into Oliver a couple weeks ago um, Becca was working there one of the girls that she used to work there all the time and now she does her website and stuff and her face just looked so pretty of course she's in her 20s and has that glow anyway and I asked her what she was wearing and she said it was this foundation so I did some research on what color because I think there's like three medium shades and I ended up on uh, what is the most she's the most beautiful girl um, beauty professor yeah beauty professor Rachel her hair and her dog Jethro oh my goodness you've got to go see her channel and see her Instagram but anyway, she does wonderful reviews. And so looking at her swatches, she has swatched every color. I chose the color six medium, which is, you know, a really pretty color. And it comes out like that. It's kind of a neutral, neutrally color. And it's very pretty, but it's not a lot of coverage. It's um, for one of those days that you are just going to the gym or 
if you're somebody that just has perfect skin and doesn't have a lot of redness or anything then this will be perfect for you I am going to still keep it I'm not gonna send it back because I still want to work with it and um, I never did give it a chance to I never really did give it a chance on its own I was trying to put like a powder over it and everything and I didn't like it but I want to work with it a little bit more but it is really pretty gosh it looks really pretty on my hand maybe I didn't I don't know what I used to put it on with if I used a brush or what I did but anyway if any of you have any tips on how to apply this because the finish is so pretty and I want I want to like it you know what I mean it's one of those that I see hope in it so that's what I had ordered with the Chanel mascara then someone that um, oh it was when I went to my lip checkup appointment the girl was her makeup looked real pretty and I asked her what she was wearing and she was telling me about this brand which is beauty counter and this is the skin tint in linen and one of the places here in town sells this and so I went and was matched and um, they matched me to this and um, this is the same thing I think it's really pretty but it is not a lot of coverage which I mean it's not supposed to be where I'll put this right here and this is a, a lot more liquidy and a little bit not as neutral it's more of like a yellowy more of a golden peachy you know like linen would be but this is more of a you can tell it's more hydrating now I asked them because I had you know combo skin would it still work for me God, look how pretty that is I need to start putting this stuff on my hands don't I <laughs> that is so pretty smell this one smells so good it smells like skincare and I will put their website down below because they have a really good story matter of fact when the girl was telling me that she wears it she said it's got so you know so much good for your skin in it she said it's actually good to sleep in it she said and nothing harmful in it there's no harmful ingredients but um anyway I just at least wanted to tell you about it because both of them are just so pretty it's just I have that daggone rosacea and redness I had like one really bad patch this morning right there that flared up on me and um I mean I didn't really try to cover it up that much I didn't put any concealer or anything on it but um, it made me upset <laughs> it made me mad anyway let me go wash my hands real quick and I'll be right back I don't want to get this stuff everywhere then I had so many of you asked me about this and I was like oh I've already gotten it and tried it but it is the new I think I had gone into Walgreens looking for something and I just stumbled upon this and I couldn't believe that I found it because I you know usually it takes a while for things that I see on YouTube to make it to our town and the color I got is 303 nude beige and <laughs> okay I don't want to say anything too bad because right off the bat I got the wrong shade I guessed you can't see the shade and what I did is um, some people on here that I usually get the same colors that they do they said they got this color but I think they found the same thing out is it's um, too light for me and it's not enough golden so the first time I tried it I thought yuck I mean I just thought it was terrible I even considered taking it back and then I thought well no I watched some more videos sorry I just ran up and down the stairs twice I um, so I saw some people using the beauty blender so I thought okay well I'll use a damp beauty blender and maybe that will thin it out because it has major coverage it's moussey it's you know it's just a weird foundation and so this morning I did my entire makeup I mean full face powder brows all the way to my I make up primer and I just kept looking at my face it did not even match my body it was not even the same tone I kept trying to warm it up I was trying to do everything to make it work because I wanted to be able to show it to you guys but it was just so bad that I took all of my makeup off and started again and I ended up putting on my Laura Mercier cashew beige because this left me wanting something that had life to it and it left me wanting something that had some golden tones to it so I hate to say anything too bad about it because it's just so much the wrong color that that works against it so much I think if I got the next one which I believe is sun beige that it might be better but I just don't think 
it's my type of foundation. It's very, very full coverage, but it's moussey. It doesn't go on nicely. To me, if I want full coverage that just goes on so nicely, I'll get the Urban Decay All Nighter or the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. Um, and I realize this is less expensive, but I just think it's worth it. So I don't even know if I will end up trying the Sun Beige. I just think there's so much better out there, but I just wanted to give you my two cents worth. I know a lot of people like this, but it just wasn't, just didn't have enough that I liked, I think, to keep on. But um, so I'll probably just give this, I've always got a giveaway bag that I'm given. Every time I go anywhere, they get a, a bag of makeup. <laughs> and I think the last thing that I'm gonna show you is from Bumble and Bumble. I can't believe I got something from them. I felt so special. They sent me a package this week and it is about their, I'm sure you guys have seen this line and they sent some 3D glasses that I looked through and it just, all of this like pops off the page. It's really cute. And um, so, you know, they've got the Invisible Oil Shampoo, which is sulfate free. And then they've got the conditioner and I have used, I haven't ever used the, have I used the primer? I've used something. I think I've used the shampoo and conditioner. But what they sent me is two really neat products. This one I have not used yet because I had just gotten my hair colored and I was scared to put anything really, really, really deep conditioning in my hair because I was just scared that it might, you know, just mess with that hair color, the toner and everything. But this is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Balm to Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask. How fabulous is that? Because I do not like to have to put something in my hair, get out of the shower, and then have to rinse it out. That's just, I will not end up doing it. So this is a balm, and I think I already took the cover off because I really, yeah. I considered doing it last night. So it is a thick balm. And what they say is to, for dry to very dry hair, invisible oil, sulfate free, shampoo and conditioner use weekly. Okay, that's what they want you to use with it. Okay, let's see what it says here. Um, scoop out enough to saturate strands and then warm, sorry, they put it right on this orange stripe and then warm in hands to melt. Distribute throughout dry hair and let set for 20 minutes. That's perfect, because then I can do like a face mask and take off my nail polish. That's a lot of what I do before I get in the shower anyway. Um, let's see, follow with hairdressers. Okay, there it goes. Invisible oil, sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. So I will let you know how this goes. Um, it sounds like a perfect product. And then this, I have been using it every video that I think you've seen me I think I used it, I know I used it in my video yesterday, but I think even, no, I think I got it after that. I think I, but um, this is a neat product. It's the Invisible Oil UV Protective Dry Oil Finishing Spray, lightweight mist for subtle shine and softness. And it says, it'll, it says like, go on and keep spraying. You can't overdo it, feather light. Um, what does it say on the back? Dry hair only gets drier during the day. Store this frizz taming conditioning mist in your bag or desk for an instant radiance boost without reverting your style. It's ultra weightless, so it's ultra weightless. So go ahead, apply as much as you want on day one and beyond. Shake well, hold eight to ten inches away from dry hair and spray evenly from mid shafts to ends. Distribute evenly with comb or fingers. Use daily. Okay, I'm gonna show you. It has like a real fine mist smells really good and it leaves your hair really soft but not heavy it almost gives it more body let me I'll put too much on my roots probably but I wanted to be able to show you how it makes your hair shine but it is not oily at all and it feels good and it smells really good it smells I mean it smells like a hair product but a good one you know it smells fancy <laughs> so thank you so much to Bumble and Bumble for sending these to me that was so nice and I love them and I can always use anything to make my hair shiny and soft so I think that's it Merry Christmas have a wonderful weekend with your family 
just we're so fortunate even when we think we aren't we really are and I'm so thankful for you guys and I will be thinking of each and every one of you and um, I will probably see you next week we have next week off and John has I think half the week off so I'll see you next week and hopefully I'll have all my cameras and computers and all that situation I haven't really wanted to bug him that much on his vacation he's been chilling out doing his thing and um, so have a, a great weekend and I will see you real soon bye bye